And welcome, YouTube. Congratulations on realizing the channel ex exists despite the pathetic censorship on the platform. Let's start things out on our in-depth daily space weather video by looking at the magnetohydrodynamic pressure around planet Earth. And it's quite high. We are seeing the onset of a coronal hole high-speed stream. So the first thing we typically see during a coronal hole high-speed stream impact is a density wave, and we're getting it now. It's kept Earth in a geomagnetic unrest period. You may see aurorae. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Here's the last four hours of magnetohydrodynamic pressure out to about 12 Earth diameters. And again, it's quite high from a combination of magnetism and a higher proton density. Next, looking at ground magnetic perturbations. This is Earth's magnetic moment from the ground. This one is in nanotesla. Magnetic flux density, geospace delta B are changes to Earth's B field. And this is going to show you the most likely places for things like aurorae, induction into power cables, induction into entire grids, pipelines, railroads, etc. For the past four hours, we'll also show the aurora forecast. If you see some aurorae, let us know in the comments or perhaps share with us on Instagram. It's Instagram.com slash smashomash. Join us over there. We put up all kinds of additional content on all of our exclusive sites. Exclusive content on all sites. Anyway, there's your Aurora Oval, your Aurora 30-minute forecast for both the Borealis on the left and the Australis on the right. Again, we're on Instagram. Here's a message from beyond the grave. Yeah. It's a message from beyond the grave. Congratulations on surviving a global scamdemic so far. Let's continue on. Did you know that case numbers are directly proportional to number of tests performed? Anyway, KP index at four geomagnetic unrest conditions for the past about 12 hours there. We've got some exciting stuff happening too, as well as crown. We've got crown prominences, CMEs. Let's move to the real-time solar wind and show you this density spike that is occurring as we make the video. So current density here looks like it's just reached its peak, perhaps, of about 35 protons per cubic centimeter. We've come off of that a little bit. Current conditions about 27 protons per cubic centimeter. It's a typical signature of a coronal hole high-speed stream, in my opinion. Solar wind speed about 365 kilometers a second. Very close to what we reported yesterday. It's been mostly flat over the past 24. Looks like there may be a coronal mass ejection strike in there. It was pretty minor. Also some major error bars showing the density below one proton per, one proton per cubic centimeter. That's quite low. Here's the proton flux. It's flatlined. No x-ray, no major flares here or anything in the past three days. Next goes magnetometers. As we move into magnetic data, we're going to show the heliospheric current sheet first that goes magnetometer. And yeah. There is, there is the data set from the GOES-16 and GOES-17 satellites. Next, the heliospheric current sheet. Do we see a North Pole current sheet showing up here at Earth? And it looks like Earth is just about to switch from a South Pole to a North Pole current sheet. Quite split here, as you can see this North Pole current sheet in green, South Pole current sheet in red, and never the twain shall meet. Actually, they do kind of meet. There's a bit of a neutral zone there. Anyway, the plasma coming from the sun is oriented to one pole or the other. Earth is about to be in a North Pole current sheet. So here's a line of sight view. Solar magnetogram dying down here a little bit. So a big reduction in sunspot number and radio flux. There may be an active region rising over here in the southeast. Make sure you follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash smashamash. We've already streamed one video live to Twitch. Did you know about smashamash.com slash smash team? One of the ways to support the channel is to buy by sending us a couple bucks per month by becoming a gold or silver member of the smash team. Thanks to everybody who has. You'll get all kinds of things nobody else will see. So I'm going to have to stop scrolling here. This is our recent free for all post. We've put up a nice GIF animation here of the closest star in many wavelengths and colorized magnetogram. Smashamash.com slash smash team. We've replaced Patreon with a superior website, our own. You can find links at smashamash.com as well as beneath this video. Once again, congratulations on realizing the channel and the websites exist. 
we often have trouble finding our own videos. As we endeavor to Mensa, make Earth not suck again. I'm wearing the hat, and I'm doing my part to make Earth not suck again. What have you done? Have you pressed like, subscribe, and share? Have you left us a comment? If you've never have before, let us know where you're located. And make sure you Mensa. Make Earth not suck again. It's up to you. All kinds of products available here. Tote bags, comforters, duvet covers, pillows, photographic prints. How about some leggings and an A-line dress for the ladies? In any case, to each of you viewing the videos, Universum Liberate, Mensa, make Earth not suck again. Mansa, make America not suck again. Let's move into the realm of coronal holes. So we've got some well-defined coronal holes right here in the earthly zone. They are south pole oriented. This imagery also shows the solar B field in blue. Keep in mind the data is an hour and 43 minutes old from when we recorded the video. And this one wasn't even streamed live. Next, looking at the 193 angstroms, 24 hour SDO imagery. Again, quite a series of coronal holes here. This one is North Pole oriented and these are South Pole oriented. And we are getting some coronal hole high speed stream arriving at the moment. We can expect a dip in the solar wind density and an uptick in the solar wind speed. Showing up, showing up a little earlier than expected. Next, looking at sunspots and flare probability, it's dropped since yesterday, both in the sunspot number, in the radio flux, and in the likelihood of major flares. But there's the current state of affairs. And here are the sunspots as they get theirs. When I say theirs, I mean coverage. So we can see an active region rising right here. You can see some some lightning in the 1700 angstrom's wavelength. Let us know in the comments if you think that's going to be a sunspot. I refuse to look at stereo A. I prefer to use forecasting. Using magnetic data to forecast, it's incredibly accurate. And it gives us insight that we would never get otherwise. So what happens, folks, is when you immerse yourself in the data, you often get answers to questions not asked. So that's something great about doing these videos every day. In the mid-1990s, when I took college astronomy, I realized that I needed to take a deep dive into heliophysics because of the hole in cosmology. I actually considered a major in stellar cosmology back then, but really there wasn't a major in stellar cosmology at the time. Now I guess there probably is. There are majors in all kinds of crazy things. And anyway, I realized there was a huge hole in cosmology because of sort of a lack of understanding of the sun. There were some major holes exposed in astronomy class, and without getting deeper into that, since it's the daily space weather, let's just invite you to the BitChute page. We've been putting up exclusive content on BitChute because there is slim to zero pathetic censorship on that platform, and whenever a video gets demonetized on YouTube, we pull it from YouTube, and we put it only on BitChute. So, Demonetization of a video, folks, causes the video to be buried in search and not to be recommended because YouTube is incentivized to provide advertisements, and that's why we pull them. Thanks to our followers on Twitch. Again, we already streamed one video live to Twitch today, twitch.tv slash smashomash. It is the main live streaming source at the Smash News Network, least busted name of news, although we do live streams on YouTube as well, occasionally. We're also on Twitter. We've been sharing things exclusively on Twitter. So follow us over there. If you don't have an account, get an account. Twitter, it's not going to be fixed by Elon Musk. The pathetic censorship will probably continue. He does not control, he does not, Elon Musk does not own a controlling share of the stock. The board can vote him down on anything that he would like to do. And frankly, I don't care about an edit button. It's completely irrelevant considering the pathetic censorship on the platform. Next, looking at flares, and we did see some C-class intensifications here since yesterday. It looks like four of them, four little C-class flares happening here in the past 24 hours. That's your GOES X-ray flux as measured by the GOES 16 and 17. By the way, you can't measure X-rays from the ground level. you got to measure them from space as they are filtered out by the time they reach the mesosphere. Next, a star chart. If you're up before dawn and you got a clear sky, which we don't here in Pennsylvania, you may see Jupiter. And and Mars, and Venus, and Saturn rising ahead of the sun. That's in-the-sky.org. We've also drawn on the yellow line, which is the ecliptic. The path the sun will take across the sky on the blue line, which is the galactic plane. 
Next, the solar system forecast. We're approaching a full moon in about a week. Here's the one-week forecast. That'll be the final day of a gibbous waxing before a full moon. Last but not least, we'll look at some coronagraph imagery. We've got a coronal mass ejection happening as we make the video. It may be earthly directed. We may have to make another video later today, especially if it is. Here's the view from Stereo A at Lagrange 5 and the Soho Lasco C3 at Lagrange 1. So you can see this huge prominence here from Stereo A. Earth would be off in about this direction here, near the equatorial plane there. And yeah, there is a CME happening. There was a huge solar crown prominence in the southern hemisphere. We'll be covering that in our bonus feature segment, which we will stream live to Twitch and upload to BitChute, most likely, God willing. Anyway, that's the current situation from the Smash Space Station. Thanks for being spaced out. Once again, congratulations on realizing the channel exists. Press like, press subscribe, press share. It probably won't get you banned from social media as we keep citing facts. In any case, may that solar wind be at your back. As I sign off from the Smash News Network, least busted name in news.